Today, we're going to talk about why it's a great idea for children to get money when they do chores. For example, your family could give you one euro every time you complete a chore. Don't you think that's a great idea? Are you serious? One euro for sweeping the floor, another euro for vacuuming the floor, another euro for doing the dishes? That's crazy! What's going to happen when you stop giving money for doing chores? The kid is going to stop doing the chores. I think it's a great idea. Every time you give a euro to a kid, they're going to get super excited about doing chores. Plus, doing chores is like doing a job. Your parents get money for doing their job, so a kid should get money for doing chores. I'm really sorry, but I don't agree with you. The thing is, the moment you stop paying your kid for doing chores, your kid is going to stop doing chores. So I think it's a terrible idea. I see what you mean. Some kids might stop doing chores if they don't get money. But I think it's more important to motivate your kids to do chores. And if you give them just a little bit of money for doing chores, it could really make a big difference. As you can see, my identical twin brother and I have very different opinions about giving money to children for doing chores. We had a conversation where we politely expressed our opinions, we tried to resolve our differences, and also tried to defend our own opinions. This type of conversation is called a debate. And in today's activity, you are going to have a debate with a partner where you talk about your opinions about children getting money for doing chores. The first thing you need to do to prepare for a debate is read some information about the subject and then think of some ideas of what you're going to talk about. You're first going to read the text in exercise 19. It's about pocket money. This is money that you get from your parents to spend on little things like candy, clothes, public transport, and things like that. And it's only a little bit of money, so it fits in the pocket of your trousers or pants. And it's going to talk about whether children should get paid every time they help around the house. Get paid means that someone gives someone else money for completing work or completing another type of service. After you have finished reading the text, you need to look at the debate question. It says, should children get paid for doing chores? Now, you have to think about whether you think children should get paid for doing chores or whether children should not get paid for doing chores. If you think that children should get paid for doing chores, you think it's a good idea. And if you think that children should not, then you think it's a bad idea. Now, there is a possibility that you might have to defend an opinion that is not yours. But don't worry about that, because it's a great opportunity to be creative and speak more English. Once you know what opinion you have to defend, you have to start thinking of some ideas of what you're going to say. You can use the text to help you, and you can also think of your own ideas. Let's imagine that you have to defend this opinion, that children should get paid for doing chores. You might say it's a good idea because it's a good way to teach children how to manage their money. And for example, if you have to defend this opinion, you might say, Children need to learn to be responsible, and they shouldn't get paid every single time they help around the house. And of course, any idea is valid, but remember to be respectful when you express your ideas. During the preparation, you should also write down your ideas in a notebook or in the column that's provided. 
You also might want to read your partner's mind a little bit. You might also want to write a few ideas in the other column so you can prepare better for what your partner is going to say. I hope you enjoy your debate and good luck.